30 percent of the, of the uh, so far of the uh, series, The Facts, is, are these nonfiction episodes that we have that they don't have any music. And I just sit and talk to scholars, people who work in some fields. I get to talk to these people about subjects that interest me. Uh, and that is, it's a way for me doing research on works that I'm doing. And it also broadens the, the audience, you know, people who are interested in the discussions, but not in the music. I, I teach in a, in a college where there are a lot of people post-military, in the military, post-military, going into the military. And one of my students, I, I know it's a little segue, but one of my students, one of the women students, um, asked if she could give a talk in the class about being raped in the military, which is not uncommon. And uh, not only was she raped, but her, a gay friend of hers was raped. And they were both raped by, by friends that they had gone out drinking with. Uh, and um, uh, so I said, OK. She gave this talk. It was, you know, <gasps> you know, and there are a lot of people in the military there who you think, well, I thought anyway, might have known a little bit more about this. But it, I, I bring this up because the, the, you know, the military prisons, uh, college campuses, um, uh, aside from the general population, one of the, 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 the word that sticks out to me is this, this, no, this humiliation issue, this humiliating the victim. Um, I mean, assaulting somebody is um, humiliating them anyway, you know, controlling them in some way. But this is, seems to be an extra added layer of, mm -hmm. of telling them how little you think of them. Um, how do people overcome that? I mean, we've been talking about it around that, but the, the humiliation of that experience. I think very much like your student did, by speaking out about it, by not hiding, not keeping it a secret, not feeling that it's her shame, but actually by speaking out about it. And we, we don't encourage children to speak out about it, but we do actually encourage, in the course of therapy, children write about their experiences. And they share what they've written with the parent and with the therapist because it releases the shame. It helps them to understand that it wasn't about them. It was something that happened to them, but the experience wasn't about them. And I, I, you know, I, I admire that when a woman can speak out to a class because that not only is healing perhaps for her, but it also reduces the likelihood that this will happen to others. The more it's not a secret, the more we can protect children and um, potentially protect women and all people who are victims of sexual assault. And I think for a lot of people too, even just uh, hearing that it happens to other people, having a name to be able to put to their experience can be very empowering and sort of open the door to being able to share more and being able to sort of compartmentalize what happened. That's sort of what's happening now, right? Is it's, 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 it's this, 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 this thing is coming out of the closet more and more people are Discussing this as a yes. part of the part of the part of the woman's movement, part of just part yeah, of the yeah. movement for increased freedom, democracy, whatever you want to call it, uh, um, that it's being discussed. But there really is a, a tremendous, uh, uh, well, as always, kickback uh, from the what, from many established powers, from some that aren't so established yet, you know, in, 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 in uh, sort of, well, criminali criminalizing sexuality, ergo, and then, uh, you know, continuing that on into criminalizing, you know, the victims of somebody else's sexual aggression. One thing that seems to be happening on college campuses now, which I think is very positive, is that there had been a lot of what was considered like rape prevention that was really had a focus on the victim, not, not to go out and drink, to be very careful of your drink, et cetera, all of which might be good guidelines for health and safety, but they've, they really put the focus on the victim instead of focusing on the people committing the, these acts and you know, working with them on what is and is not okay to do. And it seems like there's been a bit of a shift with that and really working more with the people who might be doing these assaults on Let's use good judgment when you're out. Let's use good judgment when you're drinking, et cetera. So I, I think that's a positive sign.